Hello everyone, welcome to the second part of this first uh, tool designer tutorial I, I'm doing. In this part we will explore the different uh, units that we can use to compute the parametric equations that will graph parametric curves in the Cartesian plane. So, uh, as I said before, English is not my native language, so sorry if I have some uh, misspelling words, bad words. And uh, I will give you the link to the version, the text version, the blog version of this tutorial. The second part is already in, in my site. And you can follow also all the steps with the GIFs to make the things we're going to see in this tutorial. So uh, we we will end up like with a network like this, and we can use the last uh, uh, tool file, the the one we did in the first tutorial, to continue with this uh, conversion. So uh, if we see uh, in in the blog, in the text version. Uh, the definition uh, have have this uh, sentence that says that the angle that a circle subtends from its center is a full angle equal to 360 degrees and to pi radians. Uh, basically, uh, a full angle we can interpret it like a one cycle in Cytos Designer. Uh, and if we re if we remember what the steps we did in the last tutorial uh, we have uh, in our function shop three the three units we have degrees radians and cycles so we use the cycle because by default our parent shop it comes with a range that goes from zero to one so it was easy to to make that with cycles because we can interpret that this is one cycle so if it goes or one to two is two cycles two if it goes from zero to three uh, that is three cycles so uh, the first conversion we're gonna do will be the degrees the degree units and for that we can uh, copy all the things or all the operators we place it so we don't need to export or re-export some things uh, the only operator we don't need to copy is the constant to have uh, the done with the, the exportations and not have problems with that so uh, we select all of them and we copy and paste and then uh, first thing uh, we're gonna only work in the first three operators we have and then the other operators uh, we don't need to change anything and we will uh, achieve the same the same result so here first we can uh, change our angle units we can select both operators and we can change this to degrees and if we see uh, we lost our shape for the the operators and this is because uh, but now the function operators are interpreting or uh, input units as degrees so basically if, if the function is doing the computation or the the function apply it to one degree because our length uh, or or range of our parent shop is zero to one so basically this is the the sign of one degree so and the sorry the sign of one degree and the sign of one degree so we need to change the value that we have here uh, we can do it this with a mat 
matchup in the range we can change that if we go from 0 to 1 range we need it to be to 0 to 3 to 360 and we end like this but uh, if we observe we have the same these two parameters inside the parent shop so uh, we don't need to add another operator and this is uh, save us some CPU computations so I think it's better to do it inside the parent shop so in the parameter to range we change the 1 to 360 and uh, automatically we can see that we have uh, again our shapes like we did before like the ones we have uh, here in the first in the cycles and uh, we can confirm that uh, if we have the circle in the final step that is the conversion to chop 2 so uh, this is for degrees and the last one is to make this for uh, radians uh, we can consult uh, again here 360 degrees is equal to 2p radians so uh, we need to first change here in the functions change the angle unix to radians if we see if we have the tray the three different units that the definition gives so we can work with them uh, and we will have the, the the result a good result if we apply them correctly so uh, here if we change the to radians and we copy the uh, the degree uh, we end with this interesting shape but it's not what we are looking that is a circle and this is because now it's interpreting the functions are interpreting the input as radians so uh, there are like a uh, hundred radians inside here and we need to to pure radians that's why we have this this shape so uh, again uh, in the parameter to range we can do this this change with uh, using the library the math library of python that uh, give us the uh, the actual or the right number for computing pi so to the to to make this we need to input math dot p sorry math and we see that i that we have the the shapes uh, the same shapes but uh, we need to multiply this value by two because here is just one uh, half cycle so if we see the chop two we will see that we have an arc that is uh, 180 degrees so uh, if we multiply this by two then our shape comes again as the shapes we we have in the previous uh, units and we confirm in the last step in the chop two that we have this uh, this circle so lastly we can uh, uh, render these these shapes we can add a select a sub in this select sub we can drag any of these three circles then we middle click and add a geometry add a camera uh, we add a render
we connect uh, RGB key. This is to have a black uh, background. And finally, we add a null and we make the viewer active. So uh, finally, we need to add a uh, material. I think we can use constant or line. Uh, this time, we will use a line. We drag them, uh, we drag the line material to the geo and we select uh, the parameter material. In this uh, line, we can change the width of the line. So make this like five and we can change the, the color. So maybe that, that green, that cyan, I don't know. And uh, because uh, we don't have um, depth in this in this shape, uh, it's plain. We don't need uh, to specify a far color, so we need just one color. And we see that uh, our line comes a little bit brighter. So lastly, we can uh, still playing with. Uh, uh, radius as you see we can do it as zero and the circle disappears and we can increase it even more than just one um, well that's that's it this is the the tutorial that we we, we see we saw uh, the different operations the different units we can apply to compute or to graph or uh, parametric curves in this case like because this is an introduction the the shape is a circle uh, so uh, i will give you the link to the blog where i make this tutorial as a text and also in i will give you the link to the file where you can have this uh, and if you like this and want uh, to support and we have two more tutorials like this, uh, please subscribe and like the video. And if you have also any comments or, or feedback or questions, uh, leave it below in the section comment and I will read it and I will answer as long as I can, uh, as soon as possible. So thank you for watching this second part. Finally, in the last part, we will see this uh, with Python. So it will be a little bit for more longer, but we will just do this with one operator instead of all of these operators. So I think also that will be interesting because uh, we we can save some CPU uh, um, with using Python. Uh, thank you for watching this and see you on the next tutorial.